And you guys, please forgive me. I got my nails done, but before they dried, I smushed them. So, getting my nails repolished is also on my to-do list today. So, just overlook that. Okay, so I am going to attempt to show you how I wash my dimming brush. This is my favorite brush. It really helps with defining my curls like actually what it does is helps distribute the product through my hair which then obviously whatever product I'm using will define my curls got this from Sally's a long long time ago for like 10 bucks and I think they have sales you can get them from like $6.99 or $7.99 something like that and for a long time I had no idea this brush came apart after a while as you can see it does get very greasy hair gets stuck down in there and I'm just going to show you how I clean it I hope you guys can see this so this let's see this whole center part comes apart and then I can get that in the sink and get that cleaned out real good and then Look at all that gunk just from grease. And so all of these picks individually come apart, making it very easy to just get in the sink and wash it. And I left my Dawn downstairs in the kitchen. And I like using Dawn because Dawn removes grease really easy. Dawn dish but I'm just going to use some hand soap. No big deal. Just get that in the sink. I had a hard time trying to figure out how to get this camera up here in the sink like this. So it's not centered. It's not perfect. I might as well wash my comb too. a rag to help get that gunk off of there it's been a while since I washed it usually I just pull the hair out and keep going but after a while you need to stop and remove that grease rinse it real good let me rinse one more time and then just set it up to dry that easy Like I said, I had this brush for a long time before I realized it actually came apart. So, I made this video because it was time to clean my brush. And I thought, hmm, might be someone else out there who does not know. And if you haven't used a dimming brush, I would suggest it. And I know people who actually don't like it because it says it pulls their hair. and um, But it doesn't do that to my hair. I love it. So then... Put it back together. You just turn it on the back side and then just place those picks. Now you can remove some of these picks depending on, you know, if it's pulling your hair and you think it's too many picks in there, you can, you don't have to put them all back in here. You can remove some of them. Okay. It is real easy, but for some reason I'm missing some of the holes. That one still had a piece of hair stuck in it. But the main thing is I got all that oil and grease off there. That was driving me nuts. 
So for some reason this isn't lining up. So what makes so what I need to so that make lets me know that it doesn't go there. It's one of the center ones. They're not all the same size actually. So clearly that one didn't fit there. So it goes in the center and not on the end where I was trying to force it to go. And this one does go on the end. I'm having a hard time staying in the frame. I'm getting ready to um, do a flat toy tutorial on um, using um, shea butter and my gel. So I'm just kind of preparing for that. This is taking too long. And you're like, I can't even see you. Okay, where does this one go? It doesn't go there. You can tell when you get, if you line it up and they don't line up with the holes exactly. Then, oh, it must go. Well, no, it should go on that one. Hmm. Okay, somebody is texting me. Hold on, you guys. I'm going to get this. I want to show you. Let me pause this. So I don't want this video being long just for a demonstration. I'll be back. Okay, so I got them all back in, and it really is easy. It's just a matter of lining them up because these outside ones are different size than the middle one, the middle ones, the ones in the middle. So then now it's just a matter of attaching this back to the handle by sliding this down, and it's real, real careful. You have to be real, real careful to keep it all together so you won't, so these won't fall back out. So just keep that pinched and just pop it back on. And I need to bring it up a little closer to me, so I'll be right back. Okay, voila. So this part right here just has to be squeezed together, and then it slides right in there. And I have a nice, freshly cleaned dimmer brush. I'm getting ready to get started with my hair, so I'll come back with a tutorial.